The Shallows is directed by Wame Khaled Sarah, and it stars Blake Lively and a shark. <laughs> and it's basically a, a pretty straightforward movie. Blake Lively plays a surfer. She goes out surfing. She gets attacked by a shark. She gets stranded in the shallow part of the water, but there's a lot of coral, and the shark is, uh, you know, circling around her, so she's stuck on this rock, and she's trying to survive the shark, you know, so it, it, it's, you know, it has a Jaws kind of feel to it and a little bit of, uh, it, it's a movie that really only stars Blake Lively. There's a few other people in there, but it's really a Blake Lively movie. So it, it has a lot of feelings of like 127 hours and buried. And even though it's not as good as those movies, I enjoyed The Shallows. I liked watching this movie. I thought that it had some good, you know, tense moments. It had some uh, nice action in it. The surfing was cool to watch. I thought Blake Lively gave a good performance. I don't think that she's like a great actress or anything, but I, I like seeing her in things and she gave a good performance here. She was serviceable. The other people that were in the movie shortly, you know, there's a few other surfers, they all did a good job. And you know, it was a beautiful looking movie. It was in Mexico, or I'm not, I'm not sure where they really actually shot it, but it was set in Mexico on this beautiful island and the water and the way that like the, 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 the camera were going to the water and up and down, it was really well done. I really liked watching those things. And overall, as a movie, the more it went on, there was definitely boring parts to it and a lot of times where it drags, but I liked the, the way that the story progressed and the way that it ended specifically because that's what kind of brought it up for me because the whole movie I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying this. It's pretty good. But then I thought it had a pretty strong ending. So that's what kind of brought it up for me. But the movie is not nearly as intense or gripping as I wanted it to be. Going in, I was pretty excited about this movie because I thought it looked pretty cool. And, you know, I like shark movies and Jaws and really only Jaws. but. You know, I, I think it's a cool concept, being stuck in the ocean, and it's scary. The ocean is like the scariest place for me, and, you know, it, it's a, it, you can relate to it. If you've ever been in the ocean, you're scared of the shark, you know? So I thought it would be a cool setting for a movie, and it was, and it really, it was a fun movie to watch. I just didn't get all that involved, really, because there was a lot of moments where it kind of lagged on, and, it, like, there was a lot of boring parts to it, and... Whereas in 20, 127 hours, James Franco's talking the whole time and it's like you kind of get to know his character because he's talking to the camera and it, it's, it, it was so gripping with, with that kind of style and this movie she's kind of silent and you, you kind of just have to read her face and how she's feeling in that way and uh, you know she does a lot of screaming, she's in pain, she has a shark bite and all that so it, it's mostly that kind of acting but you didn't really get to know too much of her character and even though she gave a good enough performance, you just didn't really care all that much about her. You know, obviously she's the main character, you want her to survive the shark attack, but that's the only thing that's really making you want her, wanting you to survive so that, you know, the movie doesn't end. Otherwise, you know, it's done because it's just her, you know? So you don't really get all that emotionally involved with it. And the, the action scenes with the shark, they're not as intense as maybe that I wanted them to be. But there was some scenes that were really, really intense, you know, so it, it, it was a give or take. But the thing that I really liked about the movie is that it didn't focus all on the shark. It was, the shark wasn't like the main focus of the story, it was Blake Lively. And I, I thought that was a good thing because they, they really could have overdone it with the shark and made it like, like all about the shark and then they, they show the shark 500 times. But you know, they kind of held back and that was cool to see them holding back and not going Oh, here's just sharks. You know, it's like this is Shark Week. You know, I. <laughs> but overall, I, I enjoyed watching the movie. It wasn't a fantastic movie. I don't think it's like one of the best movies ever. It had some cool jumps in there, some cool little scares or whatever, and some cool action and a good performance. And I could say that I give the, the shells a three and a half out of five. I enjoyed watching the movie. I could recommend seeing it. And, uh, you know, check it out if you're in, in the mood for a good shark movie. Not, you know, nothing touches Jaws. You know, you can never make anything as good as Jaws because Jaws is the original and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's a worthy shark movie, I would say. It was a fun movie to watch. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this and you want to see more reviews from a guy like me, Tom Waterloo, then please like and share this video. Leave a comment down below. And most importantly, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.